Former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg is facing some criticism from progressives uh, over a newly unearthed video from 2010 where he had some very kind things to say about the Tea Party. Take a look. I have to admit as a Democrat that many of my friends and supporters uh, looked at me as if I was absolutely nuts when I suggested that uh, I would be coming tonight to speak with a group that's often identified with the Tea Party. Uh, there are some, especially in my party, that the Tea Party is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Republican Party. Uh, but there are many others who believe that the Tea Party is motivated by real concerns about the direction of our government and the responsiveness of our government to citizens, and above all, a frustration with business as usual. Uh, that is what motivated me to run. And so while we may come from often very different perspectives, uh, I believe we might find all right, so uh, the video cuts off there, uh, but he does say, and so while we may come from often very different perspectives, I believe we might find that we have a lot in common. A lot in common with the Tea Party. Yikes. Now, remember, this was going on in 2010, right? The Tea Party swept into office on anti-Obama sentiment. At, let's be honest, right? This is a movement that was built on hatred of the black guy getting elected. Now, look, uh, can you criticize Obama? Of course you can. I, I criticize. See, I'm like, like the Democrats, right? Uh, the Democratic establishment that says, oh, how dare you criticize the beloved Obama, right? I have criticized him on this show. Uh, and look, that's because I don't like a lot of what he did. Uh, for example, bailing out the banks, only looking forward and not backward on going after the bankers that crashed the economy, making the Bush tax cuts permanent, paving the way for Donald Trump's tax cuts, putting Social Security on the table in negotiations with Mitch McConnell, the drone strikes, uh, and there are many other things as well. The difference is I come at it from, I should say, I criticize President Obama from the left. Pete Buttigieg, seems to be agreeing with Republican criticisms of Obama from the right. Yikes. And, and, and again, that's because he's like, look, uh, we've got some problems uh, when it comes to the, you know, uh, direction of our government. Again, the government ran by Obama. Mm. Now, if you're wondering... What's wrong with trying to reach out to the Tea Party, right? Well, let me give you the answer. The Tea Party is basically a nihilist movement. They're not interested in governing. They're not interested in taking on the banks. They were bankrolled by the Koch brothers. <laughs> they want less taxes and less regulation on business. That's basically it. That's it. They have no other policy goals other than to make the donors much more wealthy at, of course, the expense of governing. Now, you can't seem to you, you can't work with people who are whose goals are incompatible to your own, whose goals directly contradict each other. And yet Mayor Pete seems to want to work with them, seems to want to find common ground. And that seems to say a lot about Mayor Pete. Those of you who want to uh, compromise with Republicans, look, you're wrong. <laughs> I love you, but you're wrong. And I understand like Oh, but no, we have to reach out and, and find common ground with, you know, their humanity, except no, no, you can't do that. It, look, the Tea Party, these right you know, right wing Republicans, they do not compromise. And so and they've banked and created their image on not compromising with the Democrats. Now, what we need to do is we need to crush the Republicans Completely and utterly. Politically, of course, right? Uh, and then when we have defeated them wholly, then we can invite them back to the table. And then we can say, okay, uh, now let's hear you out. Let's hear out some of your ideas. And, and we'll see whether or not the American people will agree with them. Uh, because, again, it comes down to democracy. Uh, this whole idea, and by the way, after we crush the Republicans utterly, we will bring them health care. We will raise their wages and we will provide education. That's what a progressive victory looks like. 
That's not what a Pete Buttigieg victory looks like. Pete Buttigieg, uh, a victory for him looks like compromise with Republicans, which means going to the right and giving them most of what they want. Now, this whole idea of caving to Republicans preemptively is, is the reason we have a lot of the problems that we have. This is a reason that a fake populist like Donald Trump could win an election because you have this neoliberalism. You have this this dependence on corporate money and the you know and and because of that where you can't actually have populist progressive position uh positions right where you can't support those because that goes against the donors all right so now let me give you some tweets here from some uh, progressive critics right uh, and then i'm going to give you uh, the Buttigieg campaign response so now first here you have um, Ryan Knight. Now, Ryan Knight shared this video. He's one of the ones who found it, shared this video on Twitter. Uh, and he's getting a lot of pushback uh, from centrist Democrats, shockingly. Um, and he said this. Here's Pete Buttigieg speaking at a Tea Party rally event during Obama's presidency and praising them for their concerns about the direction of the company, uh, a country. The Tea Party is the racist movement that rose up after Obama was elected. This video is disqualifying. Walker Bragman also uh, chimed in um, and pointed out that the Tea Party was, of course, um, mainly funded by the Koch brothers. Um, he said they pumped millions of dollars into electing race-baiting right-wing fringe candidates willing to deregulate their businesses and lower their taxes. And again, that's what it was about, right? It, it doesn't matter how they get there, how they get into power. Their whole purpose, deregulation, tax cuts. And yes, they will use open racism and bigotry and hatred of the other to distract uh, and to pit Americans against each other. Also, they, they could benefit their donors. That's what happens. Now, the response here uh, from Buttigieg, uh, and this is from Sean Savitt, actually, uh, who's a rapid response communications director for the Buttigieg campaign. On Monday, he said Pete's comments in the video are nearly identical to what President Obama said about the Tea Party's concerns three weeks later. They're also similar to what former Vice President Joe Biden said earlier that year. As if that makes that better. Again, going back to the, how dare you attack the beloved Obama? Well, progressives don't care. Progressives are angry at Obama, especially since Obama came out. Uh, and recently said, you need to stop listening to the left-leaning Twitter accounts and avoid going too far to the left. No thank you, sir. Now, I voted for Obama twice. And uh, look, I, I think he's wrong. I think he's a corporatist. Uh, I think he's too far to the right uh, and not nearly progressive enough. We did not get hope. We did not get change. All right. Now, here's the thing. Um, and, and by the way, speaking of who's also not progressive, Pete Buttigieg. Uh, now, here you have what you have in Pete uh, is somebody who believes that Republicans are closest to being correct on economic issues. And says, well, look, I agree with uh, Republicans on economics a little bit more than I do progressives. So I'm going to go on their direction a little bit more. And again, uh, you know, allow corporations to continue uh, making money in the healthcare sector, for example, by keeping around private insurance. And then allowing a public option, which, by the way, will look, no Republican is going to vote for a public option. Why? Because we've already seen that. No Republican voted for the ACA, which is a gigantic giveaway to health insurance companies. Come on, man. No, no, no. He believes that reaching out to Republicans to get their support on policy is something that you can do. It's the only way to win, right? Well, I got news for you. When did that ever work? Again, here's the thing. Republicans despise Democrats. Their base is incredibly rabid, right? If you work with a Democrat on the public option, Republicans will primary Republican voters. Even though there are Republican voters that do want health care, but they don't want that 
uh, corporate, you know, they, 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 what they don't want is corporations, right? Uh, but there is that rabid base that doesn't want to work with Democrats on anything. Now, here's the thing, and here's why Pete Buttigieg, uh, one of the reasons, I guess, he'd be a terrible candidate. Because just like Obama, and now just like but what Biden is saying, Pete is saying, I think, uh, you know, if we uh, win the White House, then we're going to get the Republicans to work with us because eventually the fever will break. Republicans will come around. Well, again, that did not happen during uh, the Obama years. Uh, and it's never going to happen until we politically crush every single Republican. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.